Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Chris. And I'm Rich. And we are Never Enough Toys Podcast. Hi. Coming at you. Welcome back. All right. So today we have an interesting episode uh, in the vein of unboxing. We just did an unboxing the other day where, uh, well, it was today. <laughs> we have, it was not even four minutes ago. Yeah. We're on a roll, guys. We figured we'll keep on going because we're on a roll and we're learning and we're just going with the flow and yeah. we feel like opening more toys. Let's do it. So this was kind of in the works for a while. I've been really wanting to do this one. So you got to do yours and I figured, you know what, let's do mine too. I showed you mine. Now show me yours. Yeah. All right. So uh, I just started collecting Marvel Legends uh, at the very late end of 2020, which is... <laughs> Very late Ooh. to the game. Wow. Yes. Wow. Considering the line started with Toy Biz back in 2002. You got a lot of backtracking. I got a lot, of, a lot of work to do. No, but you have standards. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely have some focuses that I like to, uh, to play off of. The initial kickoff was actually kind of unceremonious in, in my books. It was uh, something that's been on clearance at Target from time and time again. It was that Storm and Thunderbird two pack. Uh, peg warmer. Yeah, so I, we'll put the definition of peg warmer on the bottom, right? Yeah. Here. Um, the reason I got it was because it was buy one get one fifty percent off. So I was like, you got to jump on these deals, people. Yeah, because when they're out there, it's worth it. Because for some reason, as time goes on, things get way more expensive. Yeah, things things were hiking. Uh, so that Storm in the pack, not even the Thunderbird. I didn't really care. But the storm was classic, and it just reminded me of one of my favorite games from childhood, which was X Men the arcade game. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that game blew me away as a kid. Loved it. I don't play video games. He's the video game yeah. guy, so you can play up to four players on a single cabinet, or if you had the double cabinet, six players. Are you kidding me? I don't even have six friends. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so back in the day, that was like glorious to be able to like get together with so many different people, strangers, and just you're all that same goal is to just take out all these bad guys, get to Magneto and blow up his uh, his floating island. And uh, yeah, pretty badass. So that so storm came along and sparked my whole love for this Marvel Legends line that I was avoiding and avoiding for so long because it was so deep. Yeah. But I did it with a little peer pressure from my buddy Nick. And uh, that started an entire downward spiral of my life that uh, I'm really not too upset about. I'm pretty happy. So, I mean, we'll show off our collections as time goes on. Yeah. Uh, but your X-Men... Marvel collection is something to see. It's yeah, very nice. And if uh, yeah, once it, once this keeps on going, we'll we'll go into our our collections. He, Chris has a huge collection of turtles and 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 wrestling I as well. And and we we just have a lot of stuff and want to get it off our chest and into the camera and yeah. into your face. Show you guys what we love. So so. With that being said, what do we have today, brother? We have a very interesting build here today. So I, I brought I brought four figures, turned into five because I forgot about the fifth one. So how many figures you have here today, bro? It's gonna be five, but one of them is kind of like a cop out, and I'll explain. All right, so I'm not an X Men guy. Uh, I don't know. Well, actually, I'm I'm a, a very minimal. X-Men guy. I probably know more than it will surprise, but no less than I know, which makes zero sense. So here we have Alpha Fight, Marvel's Guardian. Guardian! Guardian. All right. And, you, and I think you can see where we're going with this. The X-Force, Marvel's Cannonball. We have X-Force, Wolverine. Another X Force figure, boom, 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 and we have Mister Sinister, Mister Sinister. So now let me get to what I was saying here. So this I, is a complete wave. 
Build the figure. Right? Build the figure of Wendigo. Wendigo. So he's in a like cave stage. It was like a savage stage uh, of the game. And I just remember getting to him. He's monstrous. He's huge. And he comes out. He hulks at you. He says his name, Wendigo, and just proceeds to whoop your ass because he's so big. He swats you around. So amazing. So anyway, um, I started with the heroes, and I was like, you know what? He was in the game. I remember him fondly. Anytime he said it, Where did go? I was like, yo, this guy's cool. So what I did was I I, I got... He looks like a Yeti. Yeah. He looks like a white Sasquatch. So I'll tell you, tell you the process. Uh, this Wolverine... The Boom Boom and, not the Guardian, and this Cannonball all went on sale on the Hasbro toy shop on eBay for 10 bucks each. So I'm 30 into the line right here, all right? And I figured, you know what? If I'm three in, I might as well go the whole Monty. So then I started to look for Sinister, Guardian, and possibly the Nightcrawler. So now, why am I saying possibly the Nightcrawler? Because I already have an awesome toy. There's Nightcrawler here. Just showing this for posterity. I do have a Nightcrawler. It's not the one from this wave, but I just wanted to show you that he would be the other figure in the line. So I kind of copped out slightly. I wish you would have told me, bro. But you had him? I have this guy. Well, all right. He's and I don't him. get rid of things, so I also have... You have the you arm? Oh, I'm such a bum. <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered the arm separately for six bucks shipped, which I was like, okay, if I'm going to skimp anyway, I already have a, a Nightcrawler. Might as well just get the Builder piece instead of spending like, at the time of the video, he was in the $30 range just for him and the piece. I got very lucky with him. Yeah. I got him on a crazy sale at GameStop one time where I got like Power Ranger, the band, the last Bandai Power Rangers that they made, they were having before they went to Hasbro, five right? bucks a piece. So wow. I got all those and and him. He was in there some somewhere for some ridiculous price. I grabbed him because I knew him because I have an X Men collection and he's got to be in there. Yeah, amazing. So I kind of copped out a little bit and just got the arm. Didn't realize you had it. My bad. So anyway, collectors. Go over things with your other collector friends first. Discuss. Before you jump. So I already took out this sinister arm. I, I just wanted to see how, how easy it would be to do. Um, so I took it out already. I bagged it. And uh, my, the last piece of By the way, this looks, like, this looks like poo bags with white poo. Yeah. <laughs> poo bags with white poo. White poo. White poo. And the final one that came was the Guardian. So I uh, I had to go and get that. And just as a, a little added bonus, they had uh, Deadpool with the Sasquatch head, which they reused the in, pretty much the entire sculpt for, for this one to go. Oh, a little repaint there. Huh? Well, repaint, Hasbro. Hasbro. I see you. I see you. Uh, Hasbro. All right. So I Trying have to make money on the same stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and put together Chris's first by himself. Oh, we're gonna build a fig. Open them and then build them. We're gonna build a fig. All right. So we already did one. Want to go, wanna go one and one? Yeah. Let's let's do one. So each. wait, you're just gonna keep the figure in the box, and we're just we gonna can take them the out. You just because you don't, don't care, care about the people, you care about the pieces. Pieces, man. I know the feeling. Uh, Joe Fix It was. I was uh, hell bent on getting that figure. I was yeah. actually I found a really good deal on McCallery, and uh, that's how I got him because I wasn't going to buy any of the figures that his pieces came with because never heard of any of them. Yeah. So but you did get the Falcon, which was cool. I did get the Falcon because yeah. I like the old school look of Falcon. That is. So I got Boom Boom here. Boom Boom uh, looks pretty cool, straight out of the nineties. Yeah. I thought she was a a Jubilee esque. Uh, character. Yeah, I think you opened it from the correct way and I didn't. Oh, yes. yes. No, you're always okay. from the right way. 
Always, always from the right. Always from the right. right. There you go. From left to right. So that's how I kind of. Yeah. So I got to turn this around and. I just made that up just now. Yeah. So this uh, so this is the correct window. side to to unbox a, a build a big piece and get this plastic boom, boom. out. Boom, it's boom. cute. Yeah. She reminded me of Jubilee. It's she's got, got the gums. Yeah. She's got boobs. Yeah. Okay. I've heard that Hasbro's going downsizing all the boobs lately. Yeah. Well, there's a thing. Yeah, there we go. We got a left leg, huh? The foot. All right. Yeah. So there is a right and wrong way to do this, I guess, if you want to keep it together. And Rich was correct. If you open the right. Which is really the... If you don't know how to open your way. toys, you shouldn't have them. No, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Some people just rip them all. I don't, I don't, like, I don't think if people are mint on card collectors, they're going to keep the packaging. Uh, for me, I'm not a mint on card collector. I take all my figures out. The way I look at it is that they're mine. So I'm going to take them out. they got to breathe. Not to mention, I have zero room for box space. So. Body's pretty light. Feel that. Ooh, Hasbro. That's hollow. That's whack. I mean, if you really think about it. You have that that thing figure. A he brick is heavy. He is a brick. Picture this, like what? Even even uh the new Neca, like that that Pokemon Razor, like oh, that. ooh, heavy, brutal. Even Joe Fix it heavy. This is there. We go. Heavy. Guardian in the package. Yeah. I'm gonna just put him right back in. Don't really have too much need for Guardian. I already have a Guardian. Boom, boom. A loose toy biz Guardian. Where his head goes all the way up like this. All the way back. I wanna. I, I wanna open this one. This all right. guy's cool. You can open that. And I'll uh, the Wolverine. With the head of the beast. I like Cannibal. He's cool, man. Yeah, most I people complain him. about him because of his legs. He doesn't have any. Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. You ain't got no legs, Cannonball. Cannonball got no legs. Ah, but so, this figure is really cool. I think out of all of them, this might be the one that I end up keeping. I have a Guardian. I have a Jubilee. I mean, if I really want to go X Force, I could. Get a sunspot and some other guys got some cable, warpath. Cannonball, got no legs. Cannonball, cannonball. Um, does he have legs like in real life? Like in the, I, like does he walk around or is he constantly like, uh, like yeah, orco. like when he's, is he orco? He's like, oh my God, <laughs> Prince Adam, where should we go? Um, does he have legs? I think he does as when he's, when he's a kid. So that's the, oh, he's a kid. Yeah. So Cannonball is just the guy. He's just a torso and fire. I, I, yeah, I think he just. Hey, if you want to put in the comments be below stand, and yeah. explain to me Cannonball. Yeah, explain, explain to me this Cannonball. Well, is it on the back? Samuel, creator of Power Force, be able to fly at superhuman speeds as a leader of the new mutants known as Cannonball. Yep. No explanation. Marvel heads. Tell me about Cannonball. Yeah, I like this figure. Oh my god, I was waiting for this for so long. For so long. Here we are. This video was in the making for a long time. I'm glad to be here for it. I'm so happy you're here for this. I'm Great. happy I'm happy you're here for it. Yeah. I'm sorry, let me finish closing this box. So thing ranch. Alright. Here we go. So this is my first build. I'm gonna try this out here. So let's go right arm first. And it just snaps right in here. Is that it? That's it. Really? No click, no satisfying click or anything like that. Just boom, right in. I wanted to see. I wanted. I can't wait to see you do the legs because I wanted to see if it's the same problem I had with my legs and I just fix it because it looks like same right? shit. Yeah. So it just pop right in, huh? Yeah. Nice and easy. No, nice and easy. Not tight. This this was. And we uh, didn't boil these. No. Sure no. Out of the box. I did not boil them ahead of time. Uh, let's see. You hear that? Squeezy, squeezy. Oops. Scary, right? Because you wouldn't, you don't want to break the hip joint when you're doing it. So, like, where do you hold 
Oh, oh his arm fell off. His arm is falling off. Oh, oh there we, that was a click. That was a click. That was a click. Oh, okay. we got clicks. All right, we got clicks. All right. Again, okay, so you're going to hold it like... See, my Joe fix it when I was pushing the legs in. I could not get... It all, yeah, you see, you can't get it all. I couldn't at, at first. I ended up boiling it a little bit and it popped right in. Um, I don't know if anybody else, if you don't know it, if your toys are stiff, don't force them. Put them under hot water. Uh, you can boil water. I just run it under hot water. I run hot water in the sink and I just run them under for a little bit and the, the plastic will soften and it'll be easier to work with. Yeah. If you don't know that already. Just let you know. Ooh. That's a little bad. All right. All right. Not All right. bad. Okay. Wow. Wow, he's tight. Look at the head. Nice paint job on the head. Yeah. He's got, hey, he's got some killer chops, too. I know a thing or two about chops. So get that tail on there. Wow. Push and spin on the peg. And you should do it. Do the honors. Yes. Uh, I don't know, for whatever reason. Yeah, there we go. His hair was in the way. Okay, not quite. Not quite. Let's attempt it again. Hey, little pal. Scary head movement here. Uh oh, you gonna have to boil them a little bit, a little bit, maybe. No pop. Hmm. No pop. And no, no twistability here. Peg is very short, and the hair is kind of like sculpted. So getting the head oh, on here. Oh yeah. I can see. I kind of had that problem. Uh, I don't know if you guys. Uh, get the Power Rangers uh, Legacies, right? What was it Legend Series? Yeah, Legacy. Le Legacy, Legacy? Yeah. yeah. So the current ones now. And I got that King Sphinx. Um, badass figure. He's got these huge wings, and then the pegs to put him in the back are just like there we go. Boop, little tiny guys. I couldn't even get them in. Not to mention I couldn't really fit them in my collection that way. But anyway, we now have a completed. Wendigo, build a Who figure. is he? Wendigo! Wow, he's badass. He's big. Let's see him in scale with Nightcrawler from the Toy Biz line. And uh, you can see Ooh, he's he is almost double his size. Even at... Uh, Full leg extension. He's uh, shoulders higher than him, which is massive and epic. This one that goes cool. You know what's cool about him? He's like really. He's so far. He's really like really cool detail. Now he reminds me. I don't collect the line. There's a line called Mythic Legions. Oh yeah, he would fit in like. And I know the customizers out there that work with those Mythic Legion figures, they do amazing things. This guy would be one hell of an addition to your Mythic Legions because all the creatures and things like that, they need like a, I don't yeah, know, maybe, maybe, maybe they do have like a snow, a snow monster creature guy, but I mean, Wendigo would fit in with there. Amazing, right? So now I have to find a space for him in my collection because uh, we're running out of space. Again, we'll come back with all our collections and we'll do like tours. And today yeah. we're today we're in Chris's space. Yeah, maybe one day we'll be in my space. Maybe we'll do switch switch rooms. Who knows? My space. My two thousand four. Oh, it's not my space. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Uh, this is the first builder figure that I actually put together myself that I didn't purchase already fully made. So I'm really proud of this figure. When to go? I'm glad to have uh, actually built one myself that is not like a Power Rangers Zord or something like that. So here we go. We got a figure that took six figures to build. And he's Wendigo. Wendigo. Right? Did I say it right? 
Yep. Yeah, Wendigo. Wendigo. Well, from the Never Enough Toys podcast, I'm Rich. And I'm Chris. Thanks for joining us and see you next time. I'll see ya. Bye. Bye.